Hello there and welcome to Fairyland Cottage and thanks very much for joining me here today. I thought since it's around the Valentine's Day we could focus on a little bit of self-care. Now self-care can be done any time of the year and as Dr Gemma Newman said recently, self-care is health care. So it's really important to look after ourselves. I'm just pouring out some rainwater, which I was informed is great to keep your hair soft. So I'm going to use that, keep it in the fridge and then use it as a hair rinse. The thing with self-care is it's different for everybody and what I'm going to do here, you may do completely different things. I'd love to know what are your specific things for self-care. Sometimes it can be as simple as just taking five minutes to put your feet up. Now this hair mask I'm making here is one of my favorites and loads of you have used it to great results, which is lovely to hear. I didn't have fenugreek seeds, so I use coriander seeds. Our lives sometimes can be very busy and we feel that time is kind of running away on us. And just taking five minutes to stop and breathe can give herself really healthy benefits. Because you know the saying, if you don't look after yourself, you can't look after anybody else. And looking after yourself doesn't need to be a hair mask or a face mask. It can be as simple as learning how to say no, learning to do what's right for yourself. Trusting your instinct rather than what other people are telling you. And also with self-care, it doesn't have to be something that you do for one whole day, although that is wonderful. It can just be something that you do maybe little bits each day. I'll do a hair mask about once every few weeks. And the same with a face mask. So during the summer, I got some rose hips and I just blended them up, popped them into ice cube holders and I pop them in the jar and they just stay in the freezer for when I want to take one out and I just mix it all over my skin. And we all know that rosehip has great qualities for our skin and our face. But if you don't have rose hips available, you can do anything. You can get a banana, blend it up, pop it into little ice cubes and then use that. And while the hair mask and the face mask are on, it's let's stop for a cup of tea time. Self-care for you could be just having five minutes where you do stop and have a cup of tea. And with this modern world where time seems to move so fast and there seems to be so little of it. Just that five minutes where you stop and remember that there's always time for a cup of tea. It's that process of sitting and breathing and relaxing is really what benefits us. The other thing I've incorporated this year for self-care and was inspired by pickup lines if you saw her bullet journal. Now, mine is extremely simple. It's mainly just writing down what I need to get done. But what I find is it just takes all the pressure off me. I kind of write the things down that I need to get done the next day. And it doesn't matter if I don't get those things done. I can just put them on to another time. So it really helps me to prioritise what's important.
And last but not least for me would be going for a walk in nature. I'm very lucky that I can go on the land where we live. But I went down to a local park. A completely unspoiled nature. Where you'll find very few other humans around. You'll find more insects and animals and just the sounds of nature. And you remember last year when we did the self-care video where I talked about Dr. William Glasser's seven caring habits and his seven deadly. I always think it's nice to remind myself of the seven caring habits, which is what he suggests that we do in order to have good relationships. So we do these caring habits on ourselves to have a good relationship with ourselves and with others so that we have good relationships with others. Off the top of my head, I can remember the listening, respecting. So if anybody can remember those seven, write them down below. There doesn't have to be just seven. So remember, self-care is health care. So give yourself a little bit this week. Chat below as always, and I'll see you in the next video.